Hey guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, and I am about to do something that I don't really usually do, and that is cut to the chase. <laughs> so there's not going to be a long intro from me here, I just want to let you guys know that I was super lucky to be gifted a brand new MacBook Pro. But when I say gifted, I really mean that my mom had a Best Buy credit card. And if we used the credit card, I did not have to pay interest for 18 months. What a financing deal! So what I do instead is I now have the new MacBook Pro and every month I give my mom a payment through Venmo. Anyway, so I still have my MacBook Pro and other goodies in a box and I want to set it up, get it going real cute and show it off to be honest. And I was actually really lucky that I did not need to trade in my old laptop. So I need to give it a makeover because it's really dirty with all my little dirty fingerprints on it. And I want to make it cute because 2020 is the year of uploading content. And I think it's awesome that I'm now going to have two Mac computers. So it's gonna get real intense in here and I think I'm going to salivate a lot during this video. But I hope you enjoy. <laughs> accessories in this box right here that I am about to open up from Amazon and I do want to say thank you because you guys may not know this um, but I do try my best to be transparent that I am an Amazon affiliate member of the program I don't know if I'm saying it right either way I have special product links where I can sometimes earn commission on qualifying purchases and you guys are so nice and use my links and therefore I've been able to get some revenue in my Amazon wallet and purchase things like this, what you're about to see. So thank you, keep up the support, but let me, I want you guys to be able to like really see the unboxing, but I don't want anything to fall out. Ooh. So far I'm liking what I'm seeing. Look at how cool this box is. It's black and gold. So, this is a really cool case for my new MacBook Pro. This is the keyboard cover for my new laptop, and this one will be for my old one, because I gotta make sure the old one is still looking very professional and cute. Ooh, then this is the big boy. <laughs> so let me explain what this is. This is a four terabyte hard drive. This is meant for desktops. So it props itself up like that and has little cushioned stands. You'll have to see it when I actually unbox it and set it up, of course. Um, so yes, four terabyte. And because I know it's weird that I got it for desktop, it doesn't mean that it has to be a desktop computer. It pretty much means that this is a stationary device that you shouldn't travel with. It's too fragile for that. There are hard drives that are perfect for laptops that you can travel with, but they are a lot pricier and it just wasn't in my budget. My old computer, it gets really hot and it buzzes and I know a lot of it is because it's old, but it's gonna be so nice to clear up so much memory and have it run much smoother because of this baby. I'm happy, I'm so happy, guys, <laughs> I'm happy. I don't think I've really shown you guys up close what my laptop looks like. This is my old one. I've had it for a long time. It's a mid 2014 edition and I have kind of like a pinky, a little bit of like a rose gold type case. It, it's a hard shell. It does have some scratches that I don't think I can buff out. Um, if you look here, these little grip things are pretty good, but one of them did come detached and I tried like saving the foam and Gorilla gluing it back on and it just didn't really work. <laughs> it, it happens. Uh, this is something that I got to kind of help with propping my laptop up so it can cool better when it's uploading something and it's just making so much noise and it's practically on fire. It sounds like it's gonna explode like at any time. <laughs> so, but and sadly, this is, I don't, I, could, I should consider myself lucky because this was so dumb. I wasn't really paying attention and it was propped up with a stand and I stepped on it. 
I heard this snap and I was so afraid that I destroyed my monitor. I also have a board that has fans in it and it plugs in you like into the USB port. So when it's on here, the fans can blow cool air up onto the underbelly and it broke. It's been broken for a while. I still use it though, because again, it helps kind of with propping it up and having like room to vent. This is where it gets really embarrassing. So <laughs> I don't know how much you can see the screen. Oh yeah, you can, you can see it. It's, it has like the imprints of the keyboard and then look at the keyboard cover. That's so bad. Like not only have my fingers using it, like worn it away, but there's holes. Do you see the, it's completely torn through in some areas and there's all this grime, there's grime in here. And I have done a video where I've taken screen cleaner and I've just worked my little heart out on it. And I will say from that experience, it can get clean, but I can't make it look new. It just, if it didn't happen last time, it's not gonna happen this time. streaky I'm not someone that gets super annoyed by that I think I just need to find better glass cleaner yeah okay it looks it looks worse on camera to you guys than it is in reality um, I was able to save pretty much all my keys except for the E it looks a bit rough but I have I don't know what that is da -da -da. Ooh, this is gonna look so nice Oh my gosh, this lays even better than the first time I got it. And then here is the hard shell. There's definitely some scrapes here. Adding, are these fun stickers? Because I just feel like this is a very cutesy laptop. It's just the personality of it. I love all the stickers, but I don't know if I want them actually on my computer. So let's see. I am a big fan of this one. Ooh, and that one, that one's fun. I like milk. Hmm. This little guy I see a lot of places, but I don't know if I'm in love with him for my laptop. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let me show you my laptop. <laughs> so I guess you can say adding the stickers makes me look juvenile or not as professional, but I have given this laptop a personality. So I just kind of have to roll with it, you know? So when you open it up, I made it so the stickers are then facing you. So I will say that I am done with this project. So it's time for me to move on. But I also realize you might see a weird shift in time, maybe my outfit, because I now need to go um, do some errands. Yeah, I got, sorry. My mind is blanking. My library book is due today and I didn't get to finish it. So I'm kind of sad about that. Hmm. I'm ashamed of myself. I don't understand. I have had 
too many things happen this week. I have been using my old laptop because it just feels so brand new to me. I love it. That's the laptop that I bring to work. So I haven't really, it's been a few days, okay? So <laughs> I need to start setting things up. I was going to get the hard drive out before I head to work, even though I got to head out to work in like 10 minutes. So, and I got to bring my computer so I can't do anything with it. But I am a bit nervous because even though in the answered questions, people made it compatible for Mac, I think it was just to do a time machine backup. A little nervous because then when I look at the side here, it says, Compat can you see it? Wait, compatible, wait, okay. On my end, it's mirroring it. So like, it's backwards. So it might be backwards for you, sorry. But like, it says it's only compatible with Windows. Um, here's my outfit. I know it's, this is not a fashion vlog, but I wanted to show it to you guys. Hey guys, <laughs> let's talk hard drives. So I have, this is the one that I was telling you guys about. It's two terabytes and it seems very portable, but it's not. Um, it's really cute though. Like I like it. So far I haven't had a problem with it. I know from what I learned how a desktop a hard drive operates it has like this little fine needle in there and so you wouldn't want to shake it and mess up the needle like if you, you can over rattle it and damage it and I think it's more susceptible to being damaged when it's plugged in and running and used and whatnot uh, but I mean I can't not recommend it the sticker is really cute this one I think I tried to look up to see like if I could see what type it is if it's for a hard drive there's like HDD versus SSD. I can't find it, but I'm assuming like since I've traveled with this, not a whole lot, but a little bit and it works fine. It has like this little grippy <laughs> case to it. I don't know, like bumpers. Makes me think again, like you can travel with it, but this one's the 500 gigabyte, which is perfect for a regular person, but a YouTuber may struggle with it. Um, you're more likely to put your vacation photos, this and that on here, and it would last you a long, long time but videos will just clog this baby up. So 500 gigabytes is 0.5 terabytes in case you need that calculation. And then I was looking for the one that I like have overloaded, the two terabyte one. I thought I had it in this drawer. I can't, basically I was, I'm pretty frustrated with it from the get go because my friend dropped it the day that I brought it to college. And so, one of the other aggravations that I had was that you had to plug it into an outlet. I didn't like that. Lo and behold, it's got a plug. Super annoyed by that. But again, I already knew that I was going to station it here and I have some outlets down below in the desk. I even have a hole here so I can like thread a cord through. But um, heaven forbid I drop this one. I'm just gonna try to show you up close. I love the design of this. I think this is so cute. Um, you can get them in more memory, but I figured four terabytes is the way to go because even this hard drive, even if I just take care of it like the baby that it is, it can still crash on me and I really didn't want that to happen. So in a perfect world, I would also get an identical four terabyte drive and whatever I put on this one, I put on its twin. And just again, because something could crash, just sad. Um, I just don't have the means to do that right now. Uh, but okay, let's see. Oh, look, not only are the sides like super sleek, like I don't want to ruin them with stickers to be honest. Uh, but look, I guess, okay, so that's flat, but this must be kind of some ventilation here. Cause these are actual holes that I'm looking at. success so I have it pulled up and I can definitely tell there's some compatibility issue because I'm not able to name the hard drive and I cannot create a folder however whenever you get a hard drive if you're new to this 
there will be actual little documents that are already loaded onto the hard drive, like um, the warranty PDF. So you can get that info right then and there. To me, it's good to like make a folder and put that stuff in there and just don't, don't throw it away. Uh, but I see here that there's actually an icon that if I want to set it up for a Mac. So I'm so excited. Maybe I'll click on it and it's just going to tell me try again. <laughs> like find a new product. Uh, so let's get this going. Come on, baby. So the pop-up has told me to register the product. I'm a big believer of that. I always register them. Okay, well, yeah, that was actually a lot easier than I thought. Um, so now what I have to do is I need to create folders on my Leslie World hard drive. That's the new one. Um, just to organize it because this is all going to be from high school to present day. And I think that's amazing. Um, so because of that, it's going to take a lot of time. So it's going to take up my night. I'm going to have to have it be downloading while I'm sleeping. I'm going to have to be working on this probably for days and days because the files that I have a transfer over are huge. <laughs> They're very big. So um, first off, I think my goal is to clear the memory off of this drive. I don't know what I want to use it for yet, but at the same time, I kind of feel better about making this pretty empty. So let me get going. I'll uh, come back at you guys with an update. Okay, I just got done watching the first season of 13 Reasons Why. Kind of was crying a little bit, but I don't think you can tell too much. So let's see how my computer is doing. This one is the old computer still. And it has finished. So I just got to double check that I've completely transferred everything I need on from here onto there. Well, no, behind here. This is my other hard drive. Um, so I'll check on this and then I know I've been delaying it. We're going to get to the main computer here just for you guys to check what the folders I have so far. So I feel all this is pretty good. Like college content. I kind of want to keep and Then I have high school content because I have some papers and this and that that I think would be nice. Um, this will be where like, if you go here, you can see I have Mysterium on here. That's cute. My vacation pictures, but right now that's empty. But you can see, I still have yet to add on, but I think this is pretty good so it's far. It's the next day and I'm having a huge mega struggle. So right now, I don't know if you can see it, but I have my hard drive propped up in a way that was the most successful last time. Like, I mean it, it is so picky. And I hear it, it runs, and then it turns itself off. And I'm really nervous that I was too late, but I gotta keep trying. I don't know what else to do. I ended up coming in here to move the stuff because I like the extension cord that I have. Because I feel like since the battery isn't that great, I also need a plug for this baby so it doesn't just die during the transfer. It died again. Come on, baby. Oh, good news. I got it to work. What's it saying? Oh, it's giving me some error messages. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> This is definitely a very realistic vlog of the process of transitioning and expanding your home office. Ooh, okay, gonna go the long way. Like I have to very carefully sit down on the couch because I do not want to move that old external hard drive. So I have to be very dainty, very delicate. I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna sit down. Ah. Okay, nothing happened. <sighs> How confused my computer or the hard drive is. So here's the new one, but this is the old one, the old one, the old one. Glad I got it to work though, I'm almost done. 
Now I have to gently get up. Okay, good. <laughs> now, oh, gotta go through the maze. Here I go. So now, 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 we'll do the computer. I know, I keep saying that. But now, now, we are doing it. It's happening! It's happening! <laughs> So I'm not iJustine, I don't have like an unboxing station, but it is time to finally open this up. I feel a part of me has also been stalling because as soon as I have two laptops, that means that I'm gonna have to start doing double the work and I, I don't know, I find it kind of overwhelming. I also feel like I don't really have room for two laptops, but at the same time, like, it makes sense to have two laptops. So if you go online onto like apple.com, there is a way for you to input exactly what you want and it calculates your dream laptop. And of course I selected like the best part of every feature just about, and it was telling me it was gonna be $5,000. So I figured that I was gonna be saving up all year in order to get that, there was no way. Especially because at the time when I knew I needed a computer, I was just doing some odd jobs and um, YouTube and that did like, that was really just covering my bills. So I am super excited to say that this laptop was around 3000 something. I had to get Apple Care, and how this ended up working was that my mom who's in my household has a Best Buy credit card. And honestly, I think that was a pretty good deal because I was able to get this and not have to put down like my cash up front. It was all on the credit card and I got 18 months of financing. So right now, every single month, I just need to give my mom $32. Uh, but I'm thinking it's kind of set up like a normal credit card where some months instead of doing 32, I'll put extra down just because $32 for 18 months is still not going to cover the cost. But yeah, just to make it clear, I have 18 months until they start adding on interest. But we all know interest rates are scary, scary things. So, um, the back of the laptop has the specs, and I'm just gonna give you those details in case you're real techie watching this. So it's a MacBook Pro 16 inch, space gray, 2.3 GHZ 8C. <laughs> it's 16 gigabytes, the AMD Radeon Pro 5500M with four gigabytes GDDR6 slash one terabyte. So I know in the store <laughs> that I knew exactly what I was getting because I had pulled up that calculator again about, it's not really a calculator, but it's like a little survey that you take of figuring out the right computer for you. And I remember she said, well, in the back, I have one that's, you know, this, this, and this, like you're the compromised version you want. And I was like, yes, like, I will compromise. like. I just want to walk out with something and know that I have affordable payments. So let's, well, this is easy. Comes with a little pull tab. Smells good actually, like actually, I wish you could smell it. I must have touched something, it is starting guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you see, that's a tiny little apple. Okay, I guess I'm setting it up now. I set up my computer, but now I'm deciding on what I want my screensaver to be. At the same time, like I'm always driven towards girly colors but this one is supposed to be more masculine in my opinion. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to set something generic and before my dirty hands touch it up, I wanna put its case on and then I'll really know like the personality within this computer. All oh, the goodies. So first, let's get the case opened up. Okay. They make it look shinier and more metallic, but this is just plastic. Oh, I see that there's a keyboard cover. So glad that I had gotten one. Oh, there's like a translucent. I really thought this was more like a glass. Oh, I think I can pop it out. I feel kind of bad doing that though. Look, it's like, this is kind of flimsy. Do I pop it out? There's also like a little mark on it already. <laughs> I don't think you can see me. Oh, ooh, I fogged up the glass. So this is plastic. Plastic! <laughs> this feels kind of rubbery. I guess I need to just put this on before I really make a comment about it. This is the bottom, I can tell. I do like how it has very nice big rubber grippies to kind of be a soft stand to it. Um, Did I get it? I got it, guys. Does it make you nervous that I'm holding my laptop like this? Because <laughs> it's making me nervous, so I'm gonna do two hands now. But um, I got the case on. Now, I think, I don't know, like little crumbs and fibers kind of get staticky to this material, so you gotta make sure you're really like wiping that down. Um, with some type of cloth but now I can see it because like the first time I put it on I was seeing like all of these crumbs in there it was it was annoying I got it fixed though um, now when you do attach it this is where the lip is supposed to be in the front so you can uh, you can use your finger to get it up see there's like a little lip right here and yeah I'm able to get the case on Taking it off is a terrible. I've had worse with iPhone cases. This case was more expensive and it's hard for me to justify the price because I see cosmetic flaws in the plastic. It's definitely really cheap. Um, this was kind of still falling apart and detaching itself. I don't know what you would call this. It's like a type of plastic liner when I think it would have been much more chicer if it was like a non-shattered glass, but maybe that's dumb. To have for a case I get it <laughs> but still that would have been so sleek um, by having this barrier though it does protect your laptop from scratches you can add stickers and not feel bad about the adhesive um, if you were to get the full hard shell case like my pink one though I think it would keep it a little bit safer I'm not gonna do a drop test but like I said though if you love the look of this it's worth it it's not like this was $50 or anything, so you can make it work. And it does come with the keyboard cover. Now, it doesn't have any dust plugs, but there's a lot less plugs on the newer Mac. So I'll just, ooh, it's kind of hard to fit like a Q-tip in there. So I'm going to have to just be mindful of how I store it. But um, let's take one final look. Because I did, is it going to pop up? I did a purple screen. I don't know, I kind of like the purple. I feel like it still keeps it masculine, but it definitely says I'm a girl, I'm a punk rock pixie. I do blacks and I do purples. Better watch out, I might do a pink, you know? So I think it's cute. It is the next day because this has been a several day process <laughs> that I have dragged you guys with me. But I wanted to give an update and then just show off my two computers. So first we have the pink one and for the most part this is already set up. Um, I just use basic iMovie for this one because it's going to be for Sims gameplay, simple videos like vlogs and pretty much anything like that. It's perfect if I were to go to work and leave the house. I feel better about bringing this one because I just 
this, you know, there's going to be some wear and tear traveling with it. So I just feel better about that. But yes. Okay. And then I have my new one and I know I've changed some things. It's just was so beautiful. And since this will not be going out of the house with me and I'm kind of going to be setting it up like stationed almost kind of like a regular computer monitor that I just kept the back right here but I'm gonna leave the front as is. I still have the top cover because there is gonna come a time when this pink one is gonna die on me and this will be my primary and I'm gonna to have to travel with it. Um, but for now, I think it looks great the way it is. I can really show off the space gray looking super sleek. Pretty much I kept everything the same. Now, this one I plan on getting Final Cut Pro for. I was gonna download it and then I looked and it was $300. So. I am going to get it within the next few months, but I do need to be smart, save up my money. And you know, here's a little plug, pledge to my Patreon, because that will greatly help me out with my journey. Because at the same time, like this computer right now is just essentially this computer. But if I wanna make more advanced elaborate projects, that's where Final Cut Pro is gonna need to take in, take in, you know, come in to play. Um, so I am also a big advocate of Clean My Mac. This is not sponsored in any way. So I got Clean My Mac for this computer and I think I did a full on purchase where it's not like a monthly subscription or something. Um, so I'm gonna have to look to see what I got. And I know that I'm going to want it for my computer. So I don't know, I was looking at prices and the monthly and the yearly uh, renewals were not that bad doing like that subscription service but I think it would just be better to full on purchase them. However, you do get a deal when you buy for more than one Mac. So I'm gonna have to see if I full on purchase this. And if I'm doing a subscription on this pink one, then I'm going to remove like the yearly subscription and then do two full purchases. Does that make sense? Either way, it's still going to cost some money. And within this is computer's first or second, third month, I'm not gonna need to do clean my Mac at this exact point but I do need to get my computer set up for the real world so I will be doing clean my Mac okay so I know I'm rambling trying to be more, as detailed as possible because this video is a lot more tech related and just kind of giving you guys a breakdown because I am so excited to be able to expand my work so okay well don't forget to subscribe to join the fam bam. Don't forget about my Patreon. Give this video a like and leave a comment. If you had to get a computer, would you do like pink and all the stickers? Or do you think you'd keep it very simple, like space gray? I'm kind of curious about what direction you guys would lean towards if you had your own computer or if you already have one. Um, so that's basically it. Well, okay. Love you, mean it. Bye guys.